Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Jewelry Canada. Today we are going to be making some basic earrings and we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Jewelry Canada. Today we are going to be making some beaded earrings. So you're going to need some 10 aught seed beads, some 8 aught seed beads, you're going to need your ear wires, you're going to need jump rings, you're going to need a beading needle, you're going to need some line. Today we are using tough line. It is a 10 pound weight line um, and it's a little bit heavy for earrings but we're going to make like a loop earring, so it's okay in this instance. But you also can use 8 pound or 6 pound, depending on how stiff you want the earring. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start by pulling one arm length of, of the line. Okay, and then we're just going to cut that. Okay, and we're going to put it aside. Now we're going to take a jump ring. We're going to go this size. It doesn't really matter what size. I'm using a little bit of a larger size because I don't use them very much. So I just want to use them up. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to close our jump ring. Okay, so here's what I mean. You see how this this jump ring isn't properly closed. We want it flush. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it sideways and then bend it back so that it goes flush. So when I'm bending it back, I am kind of pulling it out just a teeny bit. Then we're going to give it a pinch this way and we're going to give it a pinch this way. And if you're concerned of your loops coming out, you can put a little dab of glue on that closure. It usually is just fine, but you know, if you wanna do that, put a little dab of glue, even some clear nail polish will just make it so that nothing comes out that opening. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our line and, oops, we're gonna put the two ends together, okay? Let's get those two ends together. Now from this end, we're gonna go all the way back, slipping it through our fingers until we have our loop. We're gonna take that jump ring we just closed. We're gonna put it through onto the loop and then we're gonna take those tails and pull them through the loop, okay? So what we have is our string is now on the jump ring. And I try and keep my um, opening at the top, okay? Now we're gonna go back with our fingers to the two ends, okay? We're gonna make them match up. Okay. Now this is a braided line that I'm using. Okay. So we want to kind of give it a squish between our nail. Then we're gonna take that beading needle and very carefully we're gonna thread those through the eye of the needle and you're gonna have to squish them because they are, do you notice I have a little bit of a tag on mine? Uh, sorry, I can't get, I need to get this in focus. Okay, not working. Okay. So, yeah, see, I've got a bit of a tag on my. Cut that off if it happens to you. And they're not meeting up. Okay. 
going to do half the video of me threading my needle. So see how I got one but not the other? That's okay. Pull that one so it's on nice and secure. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that and just pull it out of our way like this. And now we're going to try and thread this other one. I swear, you're going to have to have, oh, a hundred. Okay, I need that fuzzy to go away. See that little fuzzy? I wonder if that'll help me get it through. Ha! Huh, I got it through. So now I pull that one through. Okay. So we want them both going through the same way. So make sure it's doing that. Okay, now we're just going to go and we're going to go back to the other end. And now we're just going to slip it through our fingers all the way to the end. So we make sure we have no bubbles. You see, I have that big bubble. So we're just going to pull our threads until that bubble goes away. There we go. Then we'll check our threads to see how even they are. They are not even, so I will give them a trim. There we go. Okay, we're gonna pull them. I don't want them coming out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide on our design. We get to the fun part. Okay, so we're making a loop. So what I'm going to suggest is I'm going to take, oops, I'm going to take three beads, one, two, three, so three of my 10 knot seed beads, and then I'm going to put an eight on, like that. I'm going to do that, let's see, we'll do that maybe five times. So one, oh my goodness, I keep going out of focus. I'm so sorry, guys. Two, three, and then a clear, and then one, two, and then a clear so how many have we got now let's see we've got three okay let's do another one and this is all dependent on the size you want your earring right three and then another. So that's what we've got so far. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it up like this. So we might need to do 10 sections. So that would be one, two, three, four. I'm making it up as I go. That's how I do most of my jewelry. Four, five, and a bead. So see if we wanted a short one, we would do it like that. But I think we need it bigger. So we've got one, two, three, four, five sections. Let's do a total of 10 sections, but on the 10th section, don't put the big bead and meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 10 sections. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to go back through that loop. Uh, come on. Okay, so we're going through the loop and I'm bringing it to where my beads are. Now I'm going to go through those, those last three beads that we put on. Oops. 
go to the last three beads that we went on, put on just to the big bead, don't just the three beads, okay? And we're gonna pull that. Like that. Okay. Now we're gonna start our knots because this is our earring. Okay, so to do a knot, we go behind our work. Okay, we're gonna pull that needle through. We're not going through any anything. We're not going through any beads. We're just behind the work, okay? Now we've got a loop. We're gonna go through that loop once. We're gonna go through that loop. Okay, now we're gonna guide that loop to go right above the first big bead, okay? So, guide it, got it, got it, got it. Above the big bead, pull tight, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the big bead. Okay, so see your, where your knot is? Do you see that knot? Okay, you're gonna go through the big bead and the little beads and you're gonna pull it and you're gonna feel a little pop and that's your knot going into the big bead. Isn't that awesome? So you can't even see it. So you always wanna make a couple of knots. So we're gonna repeat, so follow me. Go behind your work. Okay, I'm gonna pull that until we get a loop. Oops, there, until you get a loop, okay? See my loop there? Now we're gonna go through that loop once. We're gonna go through that loop twice. And we're gonna guide our knot so it ends up right before the big bead, okay? Pull tight. Okay. Go back to your needle. And you're going to go through that. But now you're just going to go all the way around the beads until the beginning. Or to the last big bead. And this just gives a little bit of structures. And again, you'll feel that pop. So that that knot has gone in the big bead. If you wanna put more knots, you can put more knots. The more knots you put, the more secure your work is. But I find that usually I only need a couple of knots. Okay, and then we're gonna go all the way until we're at that, other, the last big bead going around. Okay, so just keep going. Coming out there, so I gotta go in here. And I'm right at that last big bead. I'm gonna go through to just before it. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut my thread. And we're just gonna Go like that and your where you cut has disappeared as well. So now the ear wires, okay. So depending, all ear wires are different. My ear wires are going the same direction. So I want to turn my ear wire. So here's how you do it. I wanna turn the loop of my ear wire. So you would think that you could just grab it and twist it, but if you do too much at a time, it will snap. Right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab it, and we're gonna turn it a bit and relax, and turn it a bit and relax, and turn it a bit and relax. And the reason you do that is it won't snap that way. So just a little bit until it's in line with 
There, see, see what I've done? Okay, now taking this, I'm gonna open it sideways. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. Attach to the cute little earring we made. Close it. And there you go, guys. You have an adorable little earring. And like I said, if you want, you can put a dab of glue or nail polish or whatever, just so that you're not worried about it coming out of the jump ring. And there you go. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Oh, by the way, you have to make the other earring. <laughs> But don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And in the description, I'll put a link to my earring cards. It's nice to have these on a cute little display so that, you know, they just look more professional. If you're giving them as a gift or if you're selling them at a market or if you're using them um, to raise money for some kind of fundraiser, it's nice to have them on a little earring card to display them. Um... And yeah, have fun with it. Make any kind of combination you want. Uh, what else will be in my description? The description will have a link to my Etsy store, a link to earring cards, earring display cards, a link to my Facebook crafting group so that you can show me all the beautiful things you've made. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.